हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस दैट इज फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स एंड मॉस कैपेसिटर इन दिस टॉपिक दैट इज फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स एंड मॉस कैपेसिटर वी हैव टू पार्ट्स इन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स दैट इज जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर we have two types of field effect transistors that is what jft that stands for junction field effect transistor and second topic is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor that is mosfet in gate we have questions from this part that is mosfet and mos capacitor there are very few questions that is jfet there are very few questions from jfet in past that was before 2007 now you don't have question from jfet but there are uh, in gate exam but there are questions in engineering services and other psu exams from jfet mosfet both and mos capacitor mos capacitor is specifically important for gate exam Uh, this topic is not important for other exams you don't have many questions from mos capacitor fine so uh, i will start with the mos capacitor first and uh, in last few years there are plenty of questions from the mos capacitor mos m m stands for metal o stands for oxide s stands for semiconductor metal oxide semiconductor capacitor let us see the layer diagram in metal oxide semiconductor we have a substrate made of of semiconductor this is semiconductor substrate this is called semiconductor substrate above the semiconductor substrate we have a layer of oxide this is oxide maybe silicon dioxide si o2 and above the oxide layer we have a metal deposited on it like this this is metal this is metal fine we have two terminals one is this terminal which is connected to metal this terminal is known as gate that is i'll write a gate terminal fine this is the layer diagram of metal oxide semiconductor at such a uh, metal oxide semiconductor capacitor is not used separately it is basically the building block of the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor that is mosfet your mos capacitor is building block of mosfet so before we uh, talk about mosfet i need to talk about the mos capacitor for better understanding of the mosfet as a device as a transistor a mos capacitor works in three modes of operation there are three modes of operation of mos capacitor first is called accumulation mode that is accumulation mode second mode of operation there are three modes of operation modes of operation first i told that is accumulation mode second mode of operation is called depletion mode depletion mode of operation fine the third mode of operation is called inversion mode inversion mode of operation so we will be talking about three modes of operation in metal oxide semiconductor capacitor mos capacitor that is accumulation depletion and inversion mode just to begin with let us understand the different modes of operation in uh, suppose we have p type semiconductor just for uh, sake for understanding in accumulation mode we give polarity to this gate gate and of course this substrate 
we give polarity we connect to external voltage in such a way that there are there is accumulation of majority carriers here for example if it is p type semiconductor substrate uh, su substrate then i connect negative terminal of the battery to the gate fine why because it is p type substrate so when i connect negative terminal of the battery to the metal gate this will acquire negative charge metal gate will acquire negative charge because it is connected to negative terminal of the battery so what will happen this will attract holes from the semiconductor why because when you give negative charge this will induce this this will induce electric field in the oxide layer this I repeat when you give the negative potential to the metal it will induce electric field in the oxide layer and that will attract the holes the direction of electric field is always from positive to negative charge so oxide layer like this so the electric line of forces will be directed towards the negative charge so holes will be attracted towards this layer so this there is accumulation of the majority carriers this is what interface this this layer is known as interface between oxide and semiconductor so holes will be gathered at the interface between oxide and semiconductor this mode of operation when majority carriers are gathered at the interface between oxide and semiconductor is known as the accumulation mode so in brief what i say in accumulation mode the such a polarity from the external voltage source that there is accumulation of majority carriers at the interface below the oxide layer that mode is known as accumulation second mode of operation is called depletion mode in depletion mode we reverse the polarity of the battery the positive terminal will be connected to gate i am talking about p type semiconductor substrate so when i have p type semiconductor substrate here i give positive potential to the gate so this metal will become positive this metal gate will become positive so what do you happen please see try to understand i have holes here i give positive charge to the gate terminal so what do you happen this hole this, this positive charge will induce an electric field in the oxide layer like this why because electric field is always directed from the positive side so this will induce an electric field in the oxide layer which will try to repel away the holes so holes from this region will be repelled away why because positive charge repels away the positive charge so so this region will be depleted this region below the oxide layer will be depleted of what depleted of holes holes will move away will be moving out of this region so what will be left behind we will be left behind the uncovered negative charges of the acceptor impurity just like your pn junction diode in pn junction diode what is there on p side of the depletion layer if you try to recall suppose i have pn junction diode which is reverse biased this is p this is n so in p region i have the depletion layer and in this depletion layer there are no holes this is this is junction so in depletion region of the pn junction diode on p side i have the negative bound charges of the acceptor impurity just like this depletion region because of the positive charge given to the metal gate all the holes are repelled away and there is formation there is a formation of the depletion region below the oxide layer at the interface this depletion region will be free of the holes if there are no holes what is left behind the negative bound charges of the acceptor impurity so there will be uncovered space charge those negative bound charges of the acceptor impurity is called the space charge 
So there is formation of the depletion layer below the oxide layer, below the gate terminal in the substrate and that will be having the space charge. This mode of operation is called depletion mode. This mode of operation is called depletion mode and if you have N type that polarity will be reversed. So this region will be free of electrons so there will be positive bond charges of the impurity. In case of N type operation is similar. The only thing is you may have to change the polarity of the battery and the type of substrate here. That's it. Otherwise modes of operation will be 3. Fine. So in case of depletion mode I repeat I have the depletion layer under the oxide layer below the gate region and in the semiconductor. So this is known as depletion mode. Now if I increase this voltage further you go increase this voltage further what will happen? In addition to negative bond charges, there will be accumulation of the electrons. I repeat, if you increase this uh, voltage further, so there will be more positive charges on the gate. If there are more positive charges on the gate, these will attract more electrons, which will, this, uh, this will attract the electrons from the substrate. But these are attracted in the depletion region. So now depletion region will not only have the negative bound charges of the acceptor impurity, rather it will have the electrons as well. This mode of operation when depletion layer has the negative uh, uh, depletion layer has electrons also at the interface in addition to the negative bound charges of the impurity atoms that mode of operation is called inversion mode. So just for sake of revision I repeat when I have majority carriers holes gathered here when this was negative so that is known as accumulation mode. When I have positive terminal connected here and this region has only the negative bound charges of the impurity atoms no hole no electron that is known as the depletion mode. Third, when I give high potential to the gate, electrons which are magnetic carriers are also attracted in the region of the depletion region. So that will be consisting of electrons in addition to the negative bond charges that mode of operation is called inversion mode. So these are the three modes of operation of a MOS capacitors. Please understand the concept, just remember these three points three modes of operation. So uh, after this I will start with the energy band diagram. This is a small topic just to let you know what are what is a MOS capacitor. It may be having P type substrate, it may be having N type substrate. Accordingly it will be having three modes of operation that is accumulation, depletion and inversion. Now after this video I will be talking about the uh, energy band diagram of MOS capacitors. That is very important topic from understanding point of view and from examination point of view. Just wait for my next video to come with energy band diagram. Thank you for watching.